Last week we had our Christmas party at the Tennessee Prison for Women. I've been a volunteer there for the last 12 years. And something amazing happened. First time for me that it's ever taken place in all the years I've been serving there. I got to go into one of the pods where the women are not yet classified. That means they can't be among the general population. So when it came time for the Christmas party, they could not attend. We had to bring Christmas to them in their pod. So about 25 women roughly in that pod all of them new to our prison. They may be returning, but there's no way for me to know. But there was a lot of fear in the room when we walked in, guaranteed. And as I stood down there with this group of wonderful singers, these beautiful people who came in, uh, we sang some songs for them. And then I just shared that I knew being in prison was hard. I actually said, I know it really sucks. And it's painful and it's difficult and it's Christmas time and you feel so alone. And I just wanted to come to you and just tell you that you are not forgotten and you're loved. And I had a few moments of just really, you know, being... Um, really direct about the internal work that they would need to do to, to get well inside the prison, to heal, to, to transform. And then I said, uh, okay, guys, here's the deal. Um, every single one of you are going to get a hug. Every single one of you. I'm going to wrap my arms around every one of you. And if you don't like hugs, I don't care. Too bad. I don't give a crap. This is going to happen for everyone. And if you go in your cell, I will come in there after you to hug you there as well. And so it's not an option today. Every one of you are going to get held. And uh, I said, who's first? And up on the top tier, you know, these little hands jump out and say, me, me, me. And I made my way up the steps and open arms met me. Girl after girl, woman, big, small, tall, short, young, old, uh, black, white. It didn't matter. Every single human being so willing to have their arms just uh, wrapped up and and to just hold them and by the time I got to maybe the fifth girl she was really really young she just literally collapsed in my arms I had to hold her up she was a tiny thing and weeping and weeping I mean just the kind of cry that that only mamas get to hear you know that broken hearted cry and I just kept rubbing the back of her head and I told her I was like baby I'm not moving until you're done I'm not I'm safe this is a safe place cry on me I feel you I feel your pain I feel your fear it's okay I'm here I got you and um, I made my way around you know 25 different human beings being able to hold them, love them, be present for them. Some of them ran to get a second hug, to get one more embrace in. And um, when we entered that pod, there was a lot of fear there and there was a lot of angst. And uh, as we were leaving, I was singing, Mary, did you know? And I looked up and the first time in all the years, um, I've been in the walls where everyone on the top tier was holding hands. Everyone on the bottom were holding hands with each other, uh, girls who really are strangers to one another. And the love in the room was, it was palpable. I'm telling you, you could feel it. It was um, absolutely beautiful. I cried the entire way home. And I've been doing this so long that you would think that big emotional moments like that would, would lose their, uh, their impact on me, but they don't. It just... It leveled me in a way, the best kind of way, because when love walks in a room, when real, genuine, impactful love, without judgment, without fear, just love, walks in a room, it transforms the entire energy of a room. It trans transforms the human being standing in there. And, and I got to witness that and, and be so moved by it and to remind myself that there is nowhere, there is no environment where love cannot win anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are or the circumstances. The power of love, the power of the love that God just breathes through the people that he created is mind-blowing. And as I left, more hugs, more embraces, and uh, I walked out of that pod and I thought, now that's just incredible. It's incredible to see uh, the ripple effect of what real, genuine love and human compassion and wrapping your arms around someone, what that can do. So this holiday season, uh, keep your eyes open. Don't miss it. Don't miss an opportunity to love someone, to, to blow their minds with kindness when they deserve something completely different. Um, make it your mission to give the gift of love this Christmas. It's, it's more important than any toy you stand in line for or anything you're going to throw under that tree. Love is not uh, something you can purchase, but it's the greatest gift you can give. Merry Christmas, everybody.